NFL gambling picks for week number uno. Number one. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can watch and wager on these games at any of Tunica's five, soon to be six incredible sports books Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Sam's Town, Hollywood, First Jackpot, opening soon, the sports book at the Fitz. Get more information over at tunicatravel.com. You can get information on these picks at winningcureseverything.com. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Let's roll into this thing. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Go first. My first pick, I'm going to take the most consistent quarterback, I think, in this conference, in this division, a team that I've been crazy high on. I love the Chargers. They're at home. Don't have much of a home field advantage, but they're not playing in, in, in the craziness of Arrowhead Stadium. I got the Chargers minus three. A lot of places have it three and a half now. It's been bet up a little bit. I think I'd still lay the three and a half. I think they're a better team. I think that defense is going to make a rookie quarterback, well, I guess not a rookie, first, first year starting quarterback, have some mistakes, have some growing pains. Give me the charges. I like that one. I like that. Game number one for me, the 49ers at the Vikings. I'm taking the Vikings minus six. Jimmy G went 5-0 and as he started in last season, but that hype has given us a line underneath the touchdown. The Vikings for multiple seasons have been a quarterback away. Now they got Kirk Cousins and Dalvin Cook is coming back. The Vikings led the NFL in total defense at 272 yards per game and scoring defense at 15.8 points per game in 2017, and they lost nobody. I'm telling you, this line is a fluke. You got this one under touchdown, grab it with everything that you got. Yeah, that team's going to be scary, I think. Vikings minus six. So for some reason, the nation, the gambling world, Vegas, think the Cowboys are going to be good this year. I hadn't figured that out. And I don't and I don't understand it. Last night we were looking and I got the under bet. It was it was nine. They think they're gonna win nine games. Come on, man. They're not gonna win nine games. The Cowboys are playing the Panthers week one. On the road. I think the Panthers are good. I think their defense is gonna be real strong. I think the Cowboys are going to struggle to score. I think the defense is gonna contain Zeke. I don't know that there's any offensive other players that we know about in Dallas that really scare me. I think Cam Newton is still explosive. I think Christian McCaffrey is still explosive. I love DJ Moore. I think the Panthers are going to wipe the floor with them. I cannot believe this line was three. It's it's a low line. And it hasn't – it's gone down. People are still betting the Cowboys. It opened at like four. The public is still betting the Cowboys. The under the over-under for the season win totals is going up. That's insane. I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't either, but it, it makes for before. a good line for you. I've been wrong before. If I'm wrong on the Cowboys this year, it's going to cost me some money. Yeah, because you believe enough in it to uh, to do your thing. Game number two for me, the Falcons at the Eagles on Thursday night. I love this line. Eagles minus two right now. Minus two at home after winning the Super Bowl against a team that averaged 8.7 Points per game against top five defenses last year? I don't Are you kidding it. me? I don't. They're, they're, this is more disrespect for Nick Foles. That is absolutely insane to me. Uh, I understand the Eagles went completely vanilla in the preseason, but that's because preseason doesn't count. I know Alshon's not going to be there, but he wasn't there a lot last no, year. No, he it's wasn't. Okay. It's all right. Look, here's the deal. If the Falcons can't score, then they can't win. That's right. And against top five defenses, Steve Sarkeesian has proven – that he can't score. And they've had a month to prepare for Steve Sarkeesian's unbelievable offense. Exactly. The Eagles will be hyped like you will not believe after their first championship. Yep. They get in the rings. They get in the trophy. They do in the presentation. It's the Thursday night game. They've been fired up for this one for a long, long time. Take the Eagles minus the two. It ain't even going to be close. My next bet's a little hard for me to swallow. Out of all 32 teams in the NFL, there are a lot of teams I like. And there's a lot of teams I hate. There's one team I loathe. I despise more than any <laughs> I other. I know who you're talking about. And it is the Baltimore Ravens. <laughs> but their offensive line is much improved. I really like Michael Crabtree a lot. I think they're going to figure the run game out. They have a capable, competent quarterback. 
and they get to bring in for week one. That defense, while it's getting old, it's getting a little, little long in the tooth there, they get to feast on Nate Peterman in the Bills week one. This game opened at four. And as soon as Nate Peterman was named the quarterback and went to seven. Yeah. I'm laying the seven. I'm not afraid That's still of this not game enough points, is it? I think Baltimore is going to kick their butt. It's hard for me to t- – I have to love a game for me to bet on Baltimore. I can understand that. Game number three for me, I don't – okay, here's the deal. I like the game. I'm I'm still questioning why I like the game. I got the Jags at the Giants. I got the Giants plus three at home. People forget the Jags were ten and six last year. They weren't fourteen and two, fifteen and one, whatever. I understand that they got to uh, they got to the AFC Championship game. Look, they lost some games. Blake Bortles ain't that good. The Giants are going to be hyped with Barkley's first game and OBJ back. The defense will be better because the offense will actually stay on the field and give them some time to rest. I don't trust Blake Bortles. I don't think he's going to win in this spot. I think the Giants with Pat Shermer are going to be fired up for this game. Look, you catching points at home opening weekend? Give me Eli Manning. Yeah, road road fav- uh, I mean home home favorites or home dogs. Sorry, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> home dogs in the NFL. Home dogs. Tough. And and then you got opening weekend. You've had plenty of time to prepare. Nothing's going to catch you off guard. And Eli's going to be pissed off about Jalen Ramsey saying he's just a high. No, I mean, it's just what it is. Eli doesn't get upset about too much. But I he's know. a professional. That's yeah. it. you got a capable, competent quarterback. And the Jags don't. So I got the Bears plus seven and a half last night. Now, today I think that number has gone down. Yeah. But I still like the Bears. Going to Green Bay, don't know what Khalil Mack is going to do, but I like them before the Mack trade. Yeah. I think Chicago is going to be substantially better this year than last. I think they have a chance to be the team that finished last in their division and could, I don't think they can win division, but make a playoff run. Um, I think they're going to be really good this year. Green Bay, they have an unbelievable quarterback I don't know that they're above average at any other position in the NFL no they're not I mean Devonta Adams is a player but he's one receiver yeah he's just one guy he's he's one dude it's a, medi- a mediocre roster they're just not good I think this Bears team has gotten way better overnight I don't know a whole lot about I think Matt Nagy is going to change a yeah, lot the of the coaching staff. And, and, and Nate, I, I think this offense is going to be Mitch Trubisky friendly. I think they're going to run RPOs to make his completion percentage go up. I think they're going to do things to put him in a, a an ability to succeed because they've invested so much in him. I just think they're going to be better. I think they have a chance to win this game outright. If you're laying six and a half or catching six and a half, you're catching seven, Damn sure if you catch a seven and a half like I got last night, I'm taking the Bears. I can understand it. I got the Texans at the Pats for game number four. Pats minus six. First game back at Foxborough since the Super Bowl loss. Tom Brady is going to be out to prove a point. Deshaun Watson's first game back after an ACL tear midseason last year. J.J. Watt's first game back. The metrics all say that the Pats should be favored by two touchdowns, and yet I got them for under a touchdown. That's because last year Watson went in to uh, the Patriots stadium and cut him up. Agreed. He put up a ton of points, but that defense last year ain't the same as the defense is this year. Exactly. And Bill has had a month to get ready for a second-year quarterback that only has four games under his belt. Yeah. You made my point for me, exactly. No, I'm, I'm absolutely going to stand. You made my point. I'm going to stand behind you on that one. Pats minus six. Take it, especially when it's under a touchdown. I don't know what their offense is going to do. I'm going to bet Gronk is going to have a big game. I'm, I'm going to bet Tom Brady's Tom probably going to find for, a way to win yeah, a game. Like two this. or three touchdowns. It's just <laughs> what they do. Who are they going to go to? I don't know. Cordero uh, Patterson. Phil, Phil Dorsett. I don't know. Pick somebody. Yeah, pick, pick a guy. It'll probably be somebody that we hadn't even named that, that right. you may not even know who he is right now. But They picked up into, some white dude from the Jets waiver wire pick. I don't, I don't know who that guy is. don't know where he played college. He'll ball. probably score two touchdowns. He, yeah, he could be. Yeah. 
Probably Whatever. so. What's uh, what's game number five for you? My last game is the game I've talked about. I talked about it when we did our, our divisional previews. I talked about it when we we did our big game preview earlier in the week, which was actually tonight. We're recording all these back-to-back-to-back to back to because back we're crazy. You've put all your eggs in this basket, hadn't you? I believe week one. Now, I don't know that the Browns are going to be living up to the hype season-wide. Okay? I know I got crazy. I know I said they're going to win 10 games. I still kind of believe that. I have my worries and I have my issues. Week one against the Steelers, I am not afraid. I am I'm not, not afraid. afraid. Of, I'm not afraid of anything. Isn't that with the this game. thing? I, that's it. I, I just I, I'm going into this completely fearless. I don't think it's going to be close. If I was in Vegas, I don't know if Tuna could, sports books are going to do it. You can actually get alternative lines where you can like give back points but get way better odds on oh, it. Yeah. I'm going to be looking to do that. I've already got money line action on it. I got the Browns plus four. I'm not afraid of this game. I think they're going to beat them up. I think they're going to beat them up bad. I told you how I feel about that. It's a whole lot of hype about the Browns right now. And I understand the plan at home. And I understand how the game at home went last year. But with Deshaun Kaiser. They were in that game and the Steelers barely got out by the skin of their teeth. Yeah, one, by one point, right? When it's Against Deshaun Kaiser. Yeah. Kaiser so-so, right? Yeah, Kaiser so-so. Tyrod Taylor was a top 12 quarterback in the NFL last year. People don't realize this. He took the garbage Bills to the playoffs last year. Yeah. And he took them all the way into the fourth quarter of that um, Jags, Jags game. Jags game, yeah. Now, I mean, he only scored three points, but. They were in it. But you got Blake Bortles on the other side, so like. He doesn't turn the ball over. He knows how to move an offense. And he's a leader, by I, God. Oh, That's, gosh. Oh, yeah. man. He is. He, he, it's sad if you watch Hard Knocks. He's telling Hugh, like, hey, hold people accountable. Do this, do that. He knows what he's doing. Him and Todd Haley, going to be dangerous this year. He's going to be a top five quarterback in the NFL this year. Watch. Man, you're making some big. I know. Big I know I'm crazy. I, they might not win all these games. They're going to score points. Todd Haley knows what he's doing. Uh, Tyrod Taylor knows what he's doing. Jarvis Landry is a great receiver. If we can get anything out of Gordon, it's going to be scary. And Joku is going to freak out. I'm, I'm, we just have too many pieces on offense to not mess that up. It's, it, I'm telling you, we we got to get hooked up with some people in Cleveland for them to see your rants about this. We'd be famous in Cleveland. I don't know. I don't, I don't think they'd like me too much in Cleveland. My gracious! All right, game number five for me: the Redskins at the Cardinals. It is a pick 'em. The Redskins traveling all the way to Glendale, Arizona, and you giving me a pick 'em? Sam Bradford. Dude, Sam Bradford is healthy. They got David Johnson healthy. They got Larry Fitzgerald healthy. They got a defense that was top 10 in the league last year and has been for years. I understand they swap coaches. I got that. I don't like Alex Smith's weapons in Washington right now and aging Adrian Peterson. Josh Doxson's kind of like, eh, whatever, right? Like he's just, he's a guy. Cardinals defense is legit. I like them at home opening weekend. I think they're going to be fired up for this season. I think they're going to come out with this win. And if you got them at a pick them, all I got to do is win a ball game. And you telling me that Arizona's going to lose a ball game to the Redskins at home with old ass Adrian Peterson? Larry Fitzgerald said this week that Sam Bradford is the most accurate quarterback he's ever played with. Boom. Cardinals. Pick them. Take that junt. Win you some money. We have given you all of the information that you need to be a winner. So take your rear ends down to Tunica, Mississippi. Hop into one of their five fantastic sports books. It'll be six soon, but right now it's five. I'm telling you, go down, get you some action in, watch you some ball games on Sunday. Do the thing. We'll be back next week. Y'all have a good uh, a good weekend. If you hadn't hit subscribe on that YouTube yet, do that. Anything else we need to hit? Cash some tickets. Cash them tickets, baby. All about it.